and I look forward and it was this great shadow way in front of me, way at the end of the line, it was like thousands and thousands of people in front of me and there was a shadow, a great big shadow, but it had no detail. It was like a, as a vapor. And I could I could see that it was a shadow of something that was in the front. And um I you know I had many questions at this point in this dream and out of nowhere I I hear I heard these words depart from me and this galaxy this portal I don't know what to call it on the on on the right side of of God you know uh, or Jesus Christ you know whoever you you, you decide to identify that spot of judgment on the right side of him there was this big portal that opened up and there will be stones of fire hey, normally when you, you you get a lighter and you cut it on try to uh, spark a flame but instead of fire it was stones and they will leak out of this portal and whoever whoever that guy said the pop me flew down this place and it was the flame the, the stones were so hot that it would burn everybody outside of that portal on the left side of our, our body or our form it would burn us and even everybody would be like Ooh. like as if it was so cold or so hot you would tell somebody to close that door it's too cold that's how hot it was and the, the portal closed and then the, he, he sent them so fast that the screams were late i would hear ah like it was like the part for me and it closed up then the screams come ah! and it terrified me and then out of nowhere something snatched us up and like we moved up the line and i began to think I, I didn't understand where we was i'm like oh my god maybe this is judgment yeah my, you know i had many questions and i would hear depart me depart me depart me and all these different people will be sent to hell and the part that scared me the most was the people that were getting judged, you could hear when God was talking to them. And you could hear everything they got judged from. So if somebody went to hell for something that you knew you struggled with in your life, you knew where you were going. And so I'm just saying people go, shoot, sit there, boo, boo. But I'm seeing the flame and it's just constantly burning everybody outside that haven't been judged yet. And I could hear some of the people um, talking to God. And um, I remember there was a woman, you know, blonde hair. And God was talking to her. He said, I'm not judging you for what you put on Facebook. But I'm judging you on how everybody else received it. 300,000 people were led astray by one of her Facebook posts. And he said their blood was on her hand. And I don't know what he said, the ball for me. And I'm talking about, I couldn't express how powerful his words were. It's as if he said, the ball for me, and everything shook. And she was like, she was sitting with great force. And the port opened up, boom. She was going to fly. And it was close. And like, ah! And the screams were so late. It terrified me. People, uh, adultery, uh, 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 fornication, uh, so many different things that I could actually hear. And people in front of me were terrified. Because a, a lot of those people were struggling or went through the same situation and they never repented. So I had thousands one thousand sent here, sent here. They would go, they were flying. My door was flying so fast. I've never seen something so fast. And it got to the point where I was next in line. And he called me up. And he started talking to me. And Keep in mind that our life held uh, held us hand to hand. So anything we did in our life, our our life testified against us. So you couldn't lie because your life testified. Say yes, you did. You did this. You did this at this time. Yes, you did. And whenever God would speak to me, you would see a big screen, like you would see, as if whatever God says, it comes to life. The people really need to know this. They need to know that there is no coming out of that place. And they need to know that on the day of judgment in the book of Revelations, God shall speak and death and hell shall come up in the universe. They don't go into heaven. That's in Revelations chapter 20. And there, when the books of life are open, those people in hell, their books was never washed in the blood of the Lamb. And that's what it's all about. 
We have a book of our life in heaven that right now, if you're not born again and you're not saved, what happens? They keep recording your bad deeds. You just know that. But when you get born again on the earth and that blood washes you clean, that record's taken to heaven by angels. And then it's recorded in, in your book. But all these old things here, angels blot out all your sins and all your old transgressions. It's a Bible. It said, I even, he, I, even I am he that blotteth out all your old transgressions. And then these pages become crimson red. And then they take your book and they record in your book the minute you got saved, the sermon you heard, they record everything that God did. And they close the book up and they take this before the book, of the throne of God. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Nothing that is impure will enter the city, nor anyone who does shameful things or tells lies. Only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of the Living will enter the city. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. The beginning and the end. Yes, I am coming soon. The grace of the Lord be with all God's people. Amen.